In this video I'm going to show you a quick and simple way to irrigate low growing ground cover. When you need to irrigate a large area of low growing ground cover, it can be futile to water it with simple drip emitters. That would take hundreds of emitters. Emitters were originally installed here on this property to water this hillside of African daisies. The owner realized this wasn't working, so he asked for a consultation to learn his options. The ultimate way to water this is to have underground PVC piping and sprays in the form of tall pop-ups or Schedule 80 risers with shrub bodies and nozzles. Either way, this should be installed before the ground cover is planted. It can be done afterward, but he wanted to do this as inexpensively and quickly as possible. No fuss, no fury. So the easiest, most effective alternative is to install drip sprays, which I highlight in this video about the three main different types of drip irrigation. Be sure to watch that for more information. This was particularly easy on this job since it was already plumbed for drip tubing. He simply removed the old tubing ahead of me arriving so we could work with fresh, unadulterated tubing. I installed the new tubing strategically using as few fittings as possible. I kept the spacing between horizontal runs seven feet apart as I explain in a moment. One other improvement I made to this was to replace the plastic 20 psi pressure regulator with a 30 psi regulator to make sure we had enough to operate all 36 sprays. It turned out perfect. If this video has been helpful, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. So we're, we're on a property here in Rio Grande where um, the owner had African daisies on this hillside here and originally had them on just standard emitters, drip, drip tubing and standard emitters. But uh, that's tough to do with ground cover like uh, African daisies or gazanias or a number of other things. That I'll show here on the screen. Um, it's it's a lot easier to get the water where it needs to go and to get good coverage with drip sprays um, if you're not going to use standard PVC piping and pop-ups or risers or whatever. So uh, the easiest way to do this uh, with these drip sprays is to use this drip spray nozzle. This green one is a five-footer. They come in different colors and I'll show those on the screen here. Uh, I like using these five footers. It's just a nice even number and it's got a large enough port that it, you don't have to worry about these clogging too easy. Then you got your stake here, your riser with the coupler already on here. This is a semi barbed uh, coupler. Technically it's threaded, but when you punch the hole in the tubing, it will stay so then we just feed it feed it in here like this and we've got the wings on here to be able to thread this on by hand and this one here particular one is a half spray and it comes in 90s and 360s as well so with these being five foot sprays i have found from experience that if you're wanting good coverage like this, you don't need to have these five feet apart. One of the reasons for putting them a, a little further distance away from each other is so that you cut down the load on the line. You want to have as few of these on the line as possible, but you still want to get the coverage. You don't want to skimp, you don't want to cut corners, but um, the fewer you have on the line, the better, um, so that we're not overloading it. So. Anyway, I found that by having, um, having them seven feet apart, and then if you have more than one line horizontally going across, then you do the best you can to alternate them like this, like I've done here. So what I did first is I laid the tubing. Uh, this is coming across here, across the walkway through that a three quarter inch pipe. And I've got it going down there and it comes back around and this, the tubing is about seven feet apart for this very reason. And then it goes down here, snakes down here, does the same thing until we end up down there at the end. 
So what I did to make it uh, easier when I was trying to figure out um, how far apart to put these, instead of hauling a measuring tape around, a flimsy measuring tape, I made up a pipe, and I've done this in the past too. This pipe here, I put the first mark at four feet, and this is just half inch pipe, and then five, six, and seven. So that's the longest we really wanna go in most cases. Uh, it is an eight foot section of pipe, but. So that way I can just have something rigid like that to uh, see where to put the next riser. And just the beauty of the, the drip sprays is you don't have to have it exact. One of the things we're gonna be dealing with here is we're, no matter whether it's uh, early morning or, or evening when this is watering, you're gonna get some kind of a breeze in here. So that, um, that breeze is gonna help blow the water around a little bit. So we don't have to have this exact. Um, I used uh, half sprays along the top side and then on the bottom side along the walkway side. I used half sprays, but out in the middle I used the 360s and then there's a couple of 90s like down in those two corners and down at the other end down there I used some 90s over there as well. Um, so once we, once we got the uh, tubing all laid out, um, holding it down only as needed with the jute staples. I only put these just where I need to. I don't do the thing where you put it every foot or every 24 inches or whatever, because that's not necessary. Um, and then on some of these risers that are down, needing to spray upward on the hill, you'll notice that those are at an angle uh, to get a better trajectory of spray. So uh, the next thing I'm going to do is just turn this on and we're going to see how it's spraying. We do have more breeze obviously churning up right now because that's what happens when you want to turn it on and adjust things. The wind pops up <laughs> invariably. Uh, but I'm going to uh, turn it on and adjust these nozzles to uh, for the best performance. So we'll see in a moment how that works out. Thank you, Rob. I like to just walk down here and do a cheap. Get that. Covering the videographer, so it's working well. Yeah, this looks great, Rob. Yeah. Great. You mind holding this? I don't know if anything needs to be adjusted, but I'm going to walk over there anyway. Love it. The water again. Yay, water! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Water, water everywhere. All right. Do whatever you want. I'm going to do it here. There's a great view up here, I Remember your free downloads to help you with your irrigation system including this one that has all the specs for drip spray nozzles. 
And if you're getting benefit from this channel, consider purchasing materials from my resources site linked below. There is a dedicated page for tools which have electrical tools on them as well, and many other pages with hundreds of other timers and other materials for your irrigation system. Morning. Morning. Doing okay? Oh. Yeah. Yep. Does that affect your fishing? Nah. No. 